Janelle, hi, how are you today? So good, how are you? So good, I have to say this is an honor. I've interviewed so many celebrities, but you are my favorite reality game player of all time. Great. I continue, oh yes, I continue to watch Big Brother because of you. And I specifically tuned into the Traders season two because of you. So it was oh so fun. it was so fun to see you in this light. And congratulations to you. I'm I'm bummed that you're no longer on the show, but so excited to chat with you today. Uh, for sure. For sure. Yeah. So like I said, I was devastated to see you leave at the hands of Dan. And yeah. who I also love as a big brother player, but I'm curious kind of what that experience was like, because at the round table, you knew that Dan was a traitor, yet you specifically called out Sandra and CT. And I'm wondering if that kind of made them vote for you. And is there something that maybe we didn't see? Because you were right that Dan was a traitor, but you also threw out Sandra and CT's names. Yeah, I actually threw it a fourth name and I actually went after Dan and Parvati. Um, oh, more wow. so Dan, but I threw out Parvati's name as well. Um, the Sandra and CT thing, I was it was like a little bit of anger with them because we had like a gamers alliance, um, to be honest with you, where we were all working together. Sandra and CT and I had voted together on every single banishment. We were always voting together. And the day that I was about to be banished, that was the only day they didn't come to me asking me how I was going to vote or what I was going to do. And I always knew I was at the bottom of the gamers Alliance, but I was like, that's pretty shitty. Like to not even be like, Hey, Janelle, we're going to, we're going to vote for, I already knew they were voting for Dan because I played these games before, but I was like, okay, whatever. So my anger intensified because I was like, they're voting to keep Dan over me, mm -hmm. obviously. And, um, I always thought there were four traitors and I knew I was going home anyway. So I was like, I'll just help the other faithfuls out. Cause I had said, Dan Harvey. And I was like, CT, you're acting weird. I didn't call him a traitor, but I was like, you're acting fucking weird. Cause he was, <laughs> he was acting weird. And then Sandra would not stop defending Dan and Parvati at the table. And I was like, why do you keep, def like, she didn't think they were traitors. I'm like, why are you keep defending them? And she said, um, a lot of it's cut out, but she was like, okay. uh, like, just to let you know, uh, we had your back, Janelle. And when she said we, I thought she meant Dan and Parvati, who I knew were traitors. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh my God, how could she be so bold to do this at the, at a banishment table? Like, you've got to be kidding me. So I was like, that's when I was like, Sandra, I think you're a fucking traitor <laughs> uh, because of what she did. And she was like, Rawr. cause she was aggressively going after me. Um, yeah, she was just acting. well. That was one of the best moments of the entire traders. Is iconic. You're a fucking traitor. No, you're a fucking like you cannot make that happen. <laughs> no, um, you know you put two people like that together in a battle, and it's going to be you know spiteful. So. Yeah. <laughs> when exactly did you know that Dan and Parvati were the traitors? I just gotta plug this in. Sorry, you're fine. Uh, I knew. <laughs> I knew Dan was a traitor um, after I did my first, I didn't know going into the missions, the first one, like who was a traitor? That's why I was like, I need a, I need a shield here. Um, got a shield. Oh yeah, then you were right to get that shield, by the way. Yeah, for sure. Um, but um, after I talked to Dan, I had a one-on-one -on -one with him. I knew right away. I mean, this is someone that I've had a 12 year friendship with. I've lived with him. I know how he is. And, uh, so I knew right away, I was like, okay, that's fine. You know, I wasn't going to say anything. Um, I said it in the confessionals. I was like, Dan's a traitor. Like, and they're like, how do you know? I'm like, it's very obvious. I know Dan. <laughs> um, and then I knew Parvati like soon after I would say like the next day, because I was, I was close with Parvati too, but you know, it's kind of one of those things where, and it was my strat. I was like, I want to work with a traitor if I can. Absolutely, because they can prevent me from getting murdered. Right. But on the flip side, I was like always looking for two more traitors. Like I was always like, okay, I'm going to find these other traitors and I want to get them out. And, um, you know, Dan right. and Parvati, two traitors that I didn't necessarily want out of the game because they would have helped me. So I was like, I want to get those other traitors out. I didn't, I was always looking at Bravo. I thought maybe Larsa could be a traitor because of what had happened. Um, 
that was really the only like accusation I had was was Larsa and mm-hmm. Akinsu because she was at, she had lied about the shield thing with me. Um, but yeah, and your it, commentary it was, about your commentary is hilarious about you're just like she's just not that good of a game player. <laughs> well, I was so confused. Um, and Ekinsu's name was up for banishment the day of Max as well. So I was like, what is going on? Like, is Ekinsu a traitor? Because I was like, why the hell is she going around the castle? And I didn't know Ekinsu. I didn't know it was her personality. You know, she's more, more dainty, more delicate. And I think for her, it was a big deal to have like a small tussle where I was like, this is not a big deal. Like, why are you making this a big deal? This isn't a big deal to me. Right. Well, you were 100% accurate in your commentary. And guess what? You were right. The main reason you called Dan out is because you were like, he's not naming names. And I'm like, why is no one else seeing this? Like, he's not even saying, hey, let's look for the traitor, which like, that seems like that's something that Dan would do. So looking, yeah, looking back now, who do you think has the, was like the best game player, like the most surprising for you or has have the best gameplay and who are you now rooting for? Um, I think Phaedra's playing the best traitor game for sure. She's yeah. only like one or two people in the castle think it's Phaedra. And, you know. Her name hasn't come up a lot, honestly. On the show. No. So the day on that the I show. was banished, it was brought up to me by Peter and John. But, um, and I, and no one believed it. You know, mm-hmm. no one. So um, I think Phaedra's playing the best traitor game. I think, I mean, you could... Uh, I prefer Peter's style of gameplay over Sandra's faithful game, Mm -hmm. but I'm more of an aggressive player where Sandra likes to sit back. So I would say it's a tie between Peter and Sandra. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Big Brother season seven all-stars is one of the best TV seasons of all time. It's iconic. What would it take for you to come back to do a Big Brother all-star? My dad and I want you, Dan, Hardy, Danielle, literally everybody. We want you just to see you back on Big Brother so badly. Um, Gosh, I don't know that I would do it. I The pandemic was different because I wanted to come back. It was during the pandemic. It had been a while since I had done Big Brother. Um, whereas now I'm not really feeling the need, especially after what happened in BB 22 with like all the pre-gaming and like, really, um, I don't know. I mean, if I did it, I'd, I'd want to choose the cast. <laughs> I'd want to say in who they cast because, um, the cat, the who they cast previously didn't do me any favors. That's for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, I think if they had half OGs and half new people, I would consider it. Wow. Yeah, you could just, uh, you need to, you and some of the OGs, your favorite OGs, you guys just need to do a group text and get everyone on board so we can see you back. But I'm happy to see you in any other, maybe you can come back kind of mid-season or something in Trader Season 3, because I want to see you play more of this game, Janelle. I'm obsessed with you. You look phenomenal, by the way. Your blue blazer and your hair look fantastic. But they are wrapping me. It was so wonderful to chat with you today, and I wish you all the best and all sending all of the love and light your way because you're one of my favorites. And it was so nice to chat with you. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you, Janelle. Bye. Have a good night. Bye.